Imagine waking up and realizing that the world you see through your own eyes is no longer the limit. Imagine a device so light, so powerful, and so integrated into your reality that the line between what is physical and what is digital doesn't just blur. It disappears entirely. For years, we've been playing with headsets that felt like toys. Bulky, heavy, and limited. But something is changing behind the closed doors of Meta's reality labs. The whispers are turning into roars, and the leaks are pointing toward a singular moment in human history. This is the MetaQuest 4, and it is about to change how you experience existence itself. If you think you've seen it all with the Quest 3 or the Vision Pro, you need to clear your mind. MetaQuest 4 isn't just another annual upgrade. It is the culmination of a decade of failures, billions of dollars in burnt cash, and a desperate race to own the future of the human interface. Mark Zuckerberg isn't just building a headset anymore. He's building the portal to the next version of you. We are talking about a leap in processing power that makes the current generation look like a pocket calculator. We are talking about optics so sharp that your brain can no longer distinguish between a physical object and a holograph. But why does this matter to you right now? Because we are at the tipping point. The MetaQuest 4 is rumored to feature a revolutionary new silicon, a chip designed specifically to handle spatial AI in real time. This isn't just about playing games. It's about a machine that understands your room, your habits, and your needs better than you do. Imagine walking into your kitchen and seeing a digital overlay of exactly how to cook a five-star meal, with virtual timers floating over every pot. Imagine sitting in a boring office, but your eyes see a tropical beach, with three massive virtual monitors floating in the air, perfectly crisp and zero lag. This is the promise of the Quest 4, and the leaked specs suggest we are closer than anyone dared to hope. Let's talk about the design, because this is where the Quest 4 is going to win the war. The biggest complaint with VR has always been the brick on your face. The Quest 4 is reportedly moving toward a Pancake Lens 2.0 system, drastically reducing the weight and bringing the center of gravity closer to your head. It's designed to be worn for hours, not minutes. They are aiming for the sunglasses form factor. And while we aren't there yet, the Quest 4 is the closest humanity has ever come. When you put this on, you won't feel the plastic. You'll feel the freedom. But there is a dark side to this tech that nobody is talking about. With the Quest 4, Meta is introducing advanced eye tracking and face tracking as a standard, not just a pro feature. This means the device knows exactly where you are looking, what makes your pupils dilate, and what makes you smile. The level of data being harvested is unprecedented. But the trade-off? The most immersive social experience ever created. You will be able to sit across from a friend who is 3,000 miles away, and you will see the subtle twitch of their lip, the sparkle in their eye, and the genuine emotion in their voice. It won't feel like a video call. It will feel like a presence. For the gamers listening, the Quest 4 is the console killer. We are hearing rumors of exclusive partnerships that will bring AAA titles to a standalone headset with graphics that rival the latest home consoles. No wires, no external sensors, just pure, unadulterated power. The pastor technology, the ability to see the real world through the cameras, is being upgraded to high-definition, low-latency color that is supposedly indistinguishable from 